There are few things more frustrating than busting your butt creating a ton of high value content for your community and not seeing your revenue or your bottom line grow as a result. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the four biggest roadblocks when it comes to profiting from your content. So let's get to it. strategist, helping you create more purposeful, profitable, and productive content. So if that sounds like something you're looking for, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below this video for regular value packed videos, just like this one every single Monday. I love a personality quiz. And so I put together a quiz that is going to help you diagnose your content roadblock so that when we remove that roadblock, you can start profiting more from your content. So I'm going to hit the link down below this video, but I'm going to walk you through some of the results here so you know which one you might be. And then you can go and take that quiz, find out exactly what it is, confirm those suspicions, as well as get my personalized roadmap for helping you remove that roadblock and start profiting from your content. So definitely go take that quiz below. I love a good quiz. So all of us have one area or another in our business or with our content where with a few simple tweaks, we can transform how our content attracts and converts readers into buyers. And instead of trying to fix all the things at once, I talked about this with your sales funnel, a couple of videos, I'll put the link here. So instead of like trying to fix all those things at once in some sweeping overhaul, unsuccessfully, because when we try to fix everything, it's like pulling us in too many directions. And we're not going to know what actually worked if something does start working or if something breaks. We're not going to know if we fix everything at once. So we do really want to be patient. So we're going to leverage those by taking this quiz, by going through these result types. These are the four biggest things um, that I tend to see business owners struggling with when it comes to their content ROI. So through this process, we're going to identify what is that lowest hanging fruit roadblock for you, where you can fix it so that you can start maximizing your content and start seeing some real, real results and some real improvements from just fixing and tweaking a few really simple things. So one of the biggest pitfalls that I see people doing with their content is I see them putting out a ton of content that doesn't actually relate to their paid offers. So they are off chasing passions and chasing curiosities. And when it comes time to actually sell their offers, what they realize is that they've collected this huge audience, they've grown their community, but none of those people are actually leads for their offer. So there's a bit of a disconnect between the audience that they've spent their time and energy growing and the people People who are actually going to purchase their offer. So some of the biggest symptoms that this might be you is number one, when you pitch to your audience, you get very, very little pickup or interest. Number two, the content you create has very little to do with what you're selling. So this is going to require you to be a little bit introspective here and go and look at your content and see if that might be the case. And then number three, your typical reader has almost no similarities to your typical customer. So again, I want you to go and look at your audience and see where that disconnect might be. So if this is you, if you're putting out offers and no one's really biting, I want you to go a little bit deeper into who your customers are versus your readers and what type of content you're putting out versus what you're selling. Make sure that those things are aligned. This is a huge problem because what does a list full of uninterested people do for you? Just increase your monthly email service provider fees, damp in your hopes when you see that no one is actually clicking your emails. So if you think that this is you or your offer emails, so if you think that this is you, make sure to go take that quiz so you can get that personalized roadmap because I have five things that are going to simple tweaks you can make that will help you fix this roadblock, remove it um, entirely very, very quickly. So the next roadblock that I see, and honestly, I don't see this one very often. It's probably the least common out of the four I'm going to talk to you about is that with your content, you're not providing enough value. So this can typically be the case when you are maybe just going through the motions of creating content, but because you haven't found something that you're interested in, or because you're super busy or rushing through it and just putting out a piece for the sake of putting out a new blog post or putting out an email. And this is a huge problem because your content really does need to make a great first impression for your leads and for your prospects. Think of your free content as an audition or a job interview. So while it doesn't take place of your paid work, it does provide a good indication of how amazing and qualified you are. So the question here is like, what impression is your content giving? If it's something that you're just kind of throwing together or half-assing, I've been there when things get really busy 
really what choice do you have? It's either I'm going to do this or I'm going to not do it at all. And in many cases we choose, you know, to just kind of like put it together, even though it's not the best representation of us. So I'd rather, I'll talk about this later, but I'd rather you create less content so that you can do a really great job because it is imperative. We do want to make a really great first impression with it. So three common symptoms that this might be you is number one, you create and post new content infrequently, like maybe once a month or less. So you're not, you're so busy that not only are you putting out pieces that aren't very good, but you were putting them out not very often either. So it's something that it's like the, it's like the albatross on your to-do list. It's always there and it's never going away. The second thing is you don't enjoy creating content and you feel that there's always something more important you need to be doing in your business. So I talk about this a lot in my book, Your Content Rebellion, but we really want to focus on finding a type of content that you enjoy so that you can show up. You do want to spend time on creating something really great. So that can be another symptom is if it's something that you hate, you couldn't be bothered to do it. Or if like, you know, yeah, you wouldn't do it if you had the choice. Number three, very little of your content gives steps to actually solve a real problem that your potential customer commonly experiences. So this can be another symptom. So how helpful is your content. I like to say when we are online business owners, we are in the business of helping people. We are in the business of finding problems and solving problems at a paid level and on the free content level. So we want to make sure that your content is helpful as well. You're actually doing a service with by putting it out there. Um, otherwise, there might not really be a point to it. There's different types of content, but we want to make sure that that helpful content is there as well. So if this sounds like you, make sure to go and take the question and download your free roadmap on how we can start getting you enjoying your content more and putting out better pieces of content that is going to just wow your potential clients and customers so they are like falling over themselves to work with you. Our third biggest profit blocker, and this one I see all the time, is that you aren't promoting your content as well as you could be, meaning that no one can find it or knows that it exists. So this is a huge problem because if you're spending all of your time creating this wonderful and high value content, but it isn't getting in front of the people who actually need it, your content is becoming a best kept secret, which means you are becoming a best kept secret. And that is definitely not a good thing. So three common symptoms that this might be something that you're struggling with is your comment section looks like a ghost town. If you have comments on YouTube or reviews on your podcast, even though you know deep down that your content is really, really great. The second thing is the social media networks you're using to promote your content are getting very little engagement. So maybe you are like, promoting a little bit here and there on Instagram, but you know, it's kind of a ghost town there. You're not really getting many comments back. And then the third thing is you don't have any search engine optimization set up for your blog post. That, that can be another reason that this is happening. So we want to make sure that you are spending as much time promoting your content as you are creating it. And again, like I mentioned with the previous one, if that is difficult, I would rather you create less content so that you can promote it more fully. So our fourth common profit blocker is that you're giving too much away in your free content, meaning that your free content is basically becoming a replacement for your paid offers. So I want you to know that I hear this one a lot. I hear people who are so concerned with giving too much away in their free content, and I don't generally think that is possible. However, I have come across a few examples where basically you're giving away everything. So it's not very common. Most of the, most of the people who I run into who are concerned with us don't even really have an audience to be concerned about giving too much away too. So, but I do think that there does need to be a difference in the scope that you give away in your free content. So free content versus paid content. Your paid content, I like to say you're giving away not just the how, but you're giving away the entire system. You're giving away the step-by-step, -step, maybe some implementation support. And people are paying you for that curated solution because let's be honest, you can find anything online these days. And so what they're paying you for is that step-by-step, -step, is that how to implement this. So three common symptoms that you're giving too much away is number 
one, there's a lot of overlap between your paid offers and your free content. So how, how much of an overlap is there? The second thing is that a lot of people are signing up for your freebies and opening your emails, but are not clicking onto your sales emails or purchasing from your website. The third thing is, is that you have a ton of fans saying how much they love your stuff, but they aren't exactly pulling out their wallets at this point. So if this is you, I definitely have some recommendations on things you can do to start to shift that immediately. So again, if you want to figure out exactly, maybe you have a hunch after hearing those symptoms, which one you would fall into, but in order to confirm those suspicions, I would encourage you to go and take my free quiz. You'll find the link in the description below this video. And then I want you to come into the comment section. I want to like create our teams here of like the different results types, the different profit roadblocks. So if you want more videos like this, make sure to click on the next video on your screen and make sure to subscribe for videos just like this one every single Monday.